In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how Microsoft Office Suite and other productivity tools you may be using for meetings performs um, in these settings. So last year I did a test where I just simply uploaded a bunch of Excel and Word documents, copied a bunch of data and put it back in. Um, what I want to show here is that um, for my testing in Teams and WebEx, the noise suppression doesn't seem to be as good as it was on the Intel nor is it on a Windows computer, such as using NVIDIA Broadcast or just its normal um, settings. So also to note here, um, I'm also monitoring a RAM memory leak issue that's been apparent in the Apple subreddit forum. So something to keep in mind is some of these devices may have a memory leak issue with the latest Mac OS that could impact some of these tests. But for the most part, the computer is running cool we have screen share on and like I mentioned before what I'm testing here is just seeing how things open when screen sharing because a lot of times people complain about having uh, terrible performance issues when using screen share so here in the test this is just to simulate if you had a lot of data in your Excel sheet um, probably too much data here but what the calculations are are just simply uh, each cell contains a random number generated throughout uh, this table of information so this could be like simulating a database export or something of that nature and if you have to do some calculations to it a simple sum would suffice and then copying this across so this is what I tested last year and this was the methodology I did on the M1 Air um, not really much performance difference I will say that it does seem kind of marginally smoother when using screen share compared to last year's M1 Air and then when opening up a lot of the files, um, I actually thought that last year's content um, kind of opened the files faster. <laughs> but maybe that's just a, a memory bias um, because or recency bias because it, it loads quick enough. Now, the Word document is just one of the initial templates that you could do and just reloading it or copy and pasting the pages over and over again. You can actually see here, um, it's not that big of a file. It's just copy and pasted maybe like <laughs> hundreds of times because you can see in the bottom left, just the page number increases and increases. But you can see, I mean, it actually took maybe like five seconds to load while on screen, uh, Trevor. So, I mean, if this was any other machine, it would probably take just as long. And these SSD files are super fast. So I would say like if you're screen sharing and you need to open files at least this m1 max is handling it and i did use this not just on the benchmark but i used this all last week and i've been using it as my daily driver last week i'm switching back and forth between the g15 and this m1 max uh, but i was using this um so that's where some of the impressions came from where the noise canceling wasn't that great Coworkers were telling me hey they could hear me typing on my on my mac so that's something to keep in mind um, if you're used to having a machine that has better noise suppression uh, such as you know, just any other machine, really, you type on a laptop and the noise suppression cancels it out. I don't think that the noise suppression is working, even though it's been showing, like I showed in the beginning of this video. And it's definitely not working if you're a gamer playing Discord. So just these small little things that are kind of impacting um, the performance. So next, we're going to just check out uh, Cisco WebEx and take a look at some of that performance. So like I showed before, it in the graphics it shows that it has noise removal but i really don't think it's working <laughs> so maybe i'll do a more in-depth test on that microphone and if that setting is working with another computer compared to an intel computer um, but i used this last week and i actually have to do webex so you, you know testing out how these files open they would perform visually on screen i didn't see any stuttering or lag though i will say um later in this video you'll see one of the reasons I like using Mac over Windows for productivity um, is you can actually use Sidecar, which is way better than using Duet on Windows. So I don't know if um, anyone's heard of that, but basically you could connect an iPad as an external monitor, but the way that Mac OS handles it is way better. Um, so just seeing here as it's trying to open all those files, it takes kind of like 40 seconds to load it. But like I said, this is kind of like extreme test. I don't know if you'd be opening 575 Word documents at the same time. Um, but in terms of lag and fan, I could just speak from anecdotal evidence that, you know, some of my coworkers have Macs on running on Intel's. So a lot of times they say it 
like crashes up or locks up or freezes. Also, a lot of times they complain, <laughs> they blame it on Microsoft OneDrive, but they're talking about how, um, you know, the fans spin up. You can hear the fans. But like I mentioned, if you switch over to, um, you know, iPad, you get really good performance, especially if you're screen sharing, you can monitor who's talking. So that could be a cool feature or a reason why you want to do Macs. And yeah, maybe if I was making a decision, I'm actually considering you know, what I want to do, either wait for M2 MacBook Air or bump down to the M uh, MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M1 Pro, which I think just satisfies my needs. Um, or just keep doing Duet. I really don't need a MacBook. Uh, but this could be something to consider um, if you don't have like a mobile device yet. The sidecar option with an iPad is just way better. So that was kind of my quick take on Office and how it performs. Um, you know, probably for most people and what I've seen on the Reddit forums, mo like <laughs> most businesses are just letting people choose between M1 Max or sorry, M1 Pro, and you have to get special permission to get the M1 Max. I would say M1 Pros can serve you if you're just using Office and browsing. Another thing I do is I actually have a journey here, but if you guys are familiar with Lucid Chart, I have like super long documents on there. I'm talking about like really long files. That could be something um, that I've found that the extra RAM helps. So all my other computers, only my desktop has long RAM, um, but this M1 Max at 32 gigabytes handles it pretty well. And besides that, in screen sharing and stuff of that nature, um, it's been pretty fine. So overall, what you'd expect, uh, especially since last year's M1 MacBook Air handled these Office videos pretty well. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. Also, one last thing to point out, I saw a Reddit comment that said that the Zoom was totally not optimized um, in terms of battery performance. So that may be something to consider. But when I was doing this test last week, uh, Friday before the Atlanta Braves parade, I was using WebEx screen sharing and off battery. It lasted um, or said it would last about eight hours. So that's pretty good. That's the whole work day. So uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.